An outdoor mall in Richmond wants to allow visitors to sip on some booze while they shop around. 8 News reporter Nicole Danzler spoke with several people about this today, and she tells us why the mall is eyeing this new concept. Well, instead of finishing drinks at the dinner table, shoppers could soon be able to take their alcohol with them around Stony Point Fashion Park. Stony Point Fashion Park wants to pop the cork on a new proposition, shopping under the influence. The outdoor mall applied for a commercial lifestyle center license that would allow people who buy alcoholic beverages from restaurants to drink them in public areas. Participating restaurants would have to sell the drinks into go cups with the establishment's names or logos. But Ann Buford, who lives nearby, says alcohol and shopping aren't a good mix. I think there's a place and time for everything and Drinking should be done at a table with a meal. People wouldn't be allowed to take the alcoholic drinks outside of mall property or into the parking lot. The owners of the mall hoping this could give their entertainment venues a boost and their restaurants can take a bigger bite out of the shopping mall experience. Some people I've talked to off camera say they would visit more often if they had this open container program in place, but Buford disagrees. I'm absolutely against it. I don't think that it's responsible to walk around and drink in groups of people or any time of day. This is not the only mall to jump on board. In September 2022, Short Pump Town Center applied for an open container permit. The mall was expecting to roll out the changes this spring. Stony Point Fashion Park hopes to hear back from the Virginia Alcoholic Beverage Control Authority later this summer and then possibly roll out the open container program after that. In Richmond, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.